A little puppy was walking along the railroad track. Nimbly he was stepping on the cinders so cold and black. Gosh, he looked so hungry. Just a bag of skin and bones. He didn't see the freight train or hear its whistle moan. But an old hobo was sitting behind a clump of weeds. For he was waiting for that freight train that was due at ten past three. Then the hobo saw the puppy and it made his blood run cold. For he was in the path of the might of steel and coal. The hobo grabbed the puppy and held him to his chest. Gee, I hate to leave you, but I am going out west. I know you'll be happy in a home with kids so gay for they will care and feed you but now I must go away three long years then passed the puppy he found a home the hobo well, he was contented. Yes, contented and happy just to roam. Then by chance he wandered back into the same town. And as he walked along the railroad, he slipped and fell down ground. The puppy saw the hobo there on the cold blue steel. He barked and he pulled and he tugged, but the hobo lay so still. Then the puppy saw the freight train. And he heard the whistle's lonesome wail. He thought I must save my friend the hobo. He has stopped that freight train, he thought with a wag of his tail. The big black train was rolling. Its wheels going round and around. But the puppy ran right toward it. Not once giving an inch of his crown. The engineer saw the puppy as he pulled hard on his brake. He stopped a foot from the hobo. But for the puppy, it was too late. The hobo stopped his rambling. No longer does he roam. And there beside the railroad, he built himself. many long years of wandering, the hobo had made nary a friend. But he knows that that puppy will be waiting when God calls him at his journey's end.